First of all, I think we need to remember the reasons for all the hype surrounding Yusufa Mukoko. And it's very simple. He was a kid who was scoring an absurd amount of goals against guys who were two to five years older than he was. When he was 12 and 13 years old, he played for Dortmund's under 17, and in 50 games, he scored a total of 84 goals, boasting a ridiculous 1.68 goals per game ratio. Then he was promoted to Dortmund's under 19 at 14 years old and played 23 games, scoring 44 goals scoring close to two goals per game on average. These were completely absurd numbers for a kid playing against young adults. So the titles of the next big thing and the next Ronaldo or Messi were unavoidable and very understandable. So what happened to him since he moved to Dortmund's senior squad? As a norm, the best way to deal with young promising talent is to give the player some minutes in his first year with the senior team mainly through sub-appearances and some starts in cup or league matches against weaker opposition. Then, year after year, slowly increase the number of minutes and starts in the first 11, even if the player is inconsistent. Zinedine Zidane did exactly this with Vinny Jr. at Real Madrid, despite some inconsistent performances by the Brazilian. He kept his trust in the player and gave more minutes season after season and the result is evident now. Vinny Jr. is one of the best players in the world. The other way is the Gavi way, basically promoting the young talent directly to the starting 11. But usually, this happens because of factors other than the talent of a young player, like the lack of players or quality in a certain position and or financial issues by the club. But none of this happened to Mukoko in Dortmund. In his first year with Dortmund's senior team, he played a total of 422 minutes. In the second year, he played a total of 287 minutes. In the 2022-23 season, he played 1365 minutes. And in the current 2023-24 season so far, he has only played 444 minutes, with only 16 starts in the Bundesliga in four years. As you can see, his time in Dortmund's senior team has been one of inconsistency. This inconsistency is also evident in his performance on the pitch, with 15 goals and 3 assists. However, most of his goals were scored as a substitute, 9 in total, which is underwhelming when compared to his performance in the under-17 and 19 teams. But what if I told you that he has a better goals per 90 ratio than players like Gabriel Jesus, Nicholas Jackson, Alexander Isak, and the same goals per 90 as Lautaro Martinez? It is quite impressive. So why doesn't he get more minutes and starts in Dortmund's first 11? The main reason for this is that the German club has had high-quality players in the striker position in recent years, with names like Erling Haaland and Niklas Fulkrug. This has left coaches Edin Terzic and Marco Rose reluctant to give more minutes to an inconsistent Yusufa Mukoko. But what's his problem when he plays? And why isn't he reaching the heights he promised in Dortmund's youth system? At the youth level, it was clear that he was the team's main player, being involved in the build-up of the game and helping his team to go forward through progressive runs and dribbling past opposing players in addition to the goals he scored. He often worked not only as a striker, but also as an inside forward on the right side of the field. The aspect of his game that seems to have been most affected in the transition from the youth team to the senior team is his dribbling ability, as seen in the numbers and when watching him play. In the 2022-23 Bundesliga season, which was the season in which he had the most minutes in the senior team, he was a player who often tried to dribble past his opponent, but with a success rate of just 38%, which is very bad for an advanced player, especially one who attempts to dribble opponents so often. It's not just the numbers. Even watching his highlights and games, many of the successful dribbles he manages are due to rebounds that he wins through his physicality or pure luck. So, it is evident that playing against stronger and technically more advanced players in defensive terms has made him less effective than he was. This could be the main reason why he is more effective when coming off the bench than when starting games because against a more worn-out defence, 
the physical disadvantage he appears to have in the Bundesliga is not as pronounced, allowing Mukoko to win physical duels that he would have no chance of winning if the wear levels were the same. In my opinion, he should try to be a striker more like Erling Haaland. This is because he demonstrates that he has two of the main qualities to play as an advanced forward like Haaland, excellent offensive off-the-ball movement and an excellent finishing and shooting ability. Because at the moment, I think, he is being misused in Dortmund's senior team. Since his ability to link up play and especially to dribble past opponents and execute progressive carries, which were essential to the way he played at youth level, has been negatively affected now that he plays against better and stronger opponents, which will force Mukoko to improve the quality of his dribbles and carries if he wants to continue playing like he did at youth level. Or change the way he plays, which I think is the best option for him, since the level of his off-the-ball movement and finishing have transitioned well to the Bundesliga. Therefore, by looking for finishing zones more frequently and actively, instead of playing deeper on the pitch, as he currently does, he will be able to use his greatest qualities in the best way possible. Becoming a pure finisher, and therefore using less of the creative side of his game, which was most affected in the transition from the youth system to the top tier in Germany, thus making him a better striker and much more effective, focusing on what he is strongest at and eliminating from his game the aspects in which he is weakest. I also think it is essential that he leaves Dortmund, whether on loan or permanently, considering that he is clearly Fulkrug's replacement. This would allow him to have more minutes and evolve as a player to reach his full potential. But what is your opinion of Yusufa Mukoko? Leave it in the comments section. And if you like the video, leave a like and subscribe.